All right, what's going on there, boys and girls? I'll get clicking. It's all good. Uh, happy friggin' Tuesday. Some of you are on Victory Tuesday. Some of you are not so much. Um, but uh, ah, whatever. It's Tuesday. We're back on the Madden Market stuff. We're here with myself, Mr. Up and Adam Gaming. Buddy, how are we today? Great. Fantastic. As long as we don't talk about the NFL, right? We're good. Yeah. Hey, the Cowboys. The Cowboys. Cowboys that's true. Again. That's true. That's true. Yeah. I can't uh, be mad about it. Yeah. What are you, are you are you confident in Dak being back now? Are we good? Is everything like? I feel, I feel better with Dak, at, like at under center, but I know I still don't trust the whole offense in general. But I still like I still like our chances this year. Yeah. Full disclosure: I did drop um, Gallup just out of fantasy, just flat, not even trade, just get out of my get out of my lineup. You're useless. What a waste of space he was. Yeah. Um, sad face. Had had high hopes, but didn't go well. Um, <laughs> Mr. I Joe Bruin, sir, how are we doing? Uh, we're doing good, man. UCLA lost in college football. That was sad. UCLA won. I think the biggest achievement this weekend was four fantasy leagues, four Ws. It feels good. Started out slow this year, and we're picking things back up. I had a, a lot of hurt, injured, suspended players being in the year, so we're picking things up now. We're yeah, picking yeah. things up. Good, uh, good, 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 good. I went 0-2 this week, but did gain <laughs> some ground in the Pick'em League. I was, uh, we're moving up, moving up. I think I'm one, one win out of the lead in, uh, in that. So we're, uh, we're feeling better on that. But the other ones, man, same, like everybody was injured around a bye this week. I like no one uh, like picking up random guys. I'm like, I don't know who this guy is, but he's got to play this week. Uh, yeah. I got, uh, I got chiefs and chargers. A lot of them on one league. I'm actually not going to start a tight end next week because half my team is on a bye. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, awesome. not, uh, what did I not have? I didn't think I had a tight end or a kicker this week. I was like, Oh, well, I guess we're just, <laughs> just rolling with it. Is <laughs> is what it is. But, uh, all right, so let's dive into Madden stuff. Um, lower week this week, right? Diamonds were last week, yeah. this week. Uh, well, no, last time we talked was Tuesday, right? And Diamonds came out on Wednesday, so that was uh, busy, busy. How many did you guys build? What was your method going through them? I know, personally, I don't build them because I can't handle it. I literally, I can't sit in there and do the sets for 12 hours. I literally, I just can't do it. My brain will explode. Um, so I just sell everything instead and made stupid Stupid amounts of coins. You guys go to run down uh, what your what your move was Wednesday through probably Saturday last week. Yeah, I'll go first. Um, I'm probably sure like we probably did a lot of the same. I did not build a single set. Um, the day before Diamonds released, uh, I think was my like the biggest payoff. I went and sniped Campus Heroes and um, those ultimate kickoffs right after I think we got off the, uh, the call. Um, and those jumped up to well over 100k as you all saw and that was my biggest money maker there and then uh yeah selling everything else off building rolling the core leads that weren't um didn't go up much i quick sold those and i rolled the most feared rolled team builders with those 78s build up and yeah i made bank i went from 13 million before team diamonds to 17 if i cleared my entire binder so i made about what four million so nice. i'll stick with that yeah yeah Team builders were okay for me, or not team builders, team diamonds were okay. Uh, I did really good on like 78s through 83s and the 85s through 87. Same thing with Adam. Team builders, I think, should have been everyone's best friend. Uh, when you had train, just like a way liquidate into 78s, build your 80s, and uh, you got to buy an 82. And team builders were going for 35, 40K uh, on the good days. Uh, but yeah, I guess ultimate kickoff campus heroes were the best. I wasn't too invested into those. I had around 15 to 20 each. My, my payout was more just the low overall cards, honestly, the 78s through 83s. And, building those into team builders team diamonds honestly weren't amazing for me like i didn't make too much uh like two to three for the time i put in i know i said two to three time i put in though probably not worth it as much but i uh, did uh the investment or the way i made a lot of coins the past week was aks aks made a killer uh, 88s for 60 62k on average sold for 76 wednesday night and then the big the big money maker was the 89 aks which were an 80k average buy even you could have bought at 70 75 on wednesday <laughs> and they sold for 120 125 on sunday i made like over 1.5 off of half of those those were my big money maker but team diamonds were okay you know i didn't do any sets picked up i upgraded my team i spent over 10 mil on team upgrades but that's just me uh yeah i think it was a it was a fun week it was a fun week i wish i would have went more into the low overall market the guarantees i got a little bit too excited about 84s or 87s and then being the main part of the set when we knew for sure that 80s were going to go up and I should have probably just went a little bit more safe into those. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I mean, not all of us will drop 10 million on our team, but Joe's got that, you know, like 23 to 25. Week <laughs> I got weekend league to go hold on to. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I love, I love weekend league. Honestly, I love weekend right, league. Right. Now with the Johnny Elway. So it's fun. Yeah. I always just get turned. I just out of time, man. I'm at like a different streamer this year. Like I literally get to play Madden for like four <laughs> hours a week and it drives me absolutely fucking nuts. Um, yeah. someday, someday I'll be able to play more. Um, we're just different, you know, content's taking me a different direction right now. I'm, I'm, what a, it is. I'm kind of a, uh, like, what do, what do you call it? A variety streamer on Madden. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of like to do it all the game. <laughs> right, right. Like comp, comp gameplay, menus. And it's, yeah, I yeah. enjoy it. No, it's good. It's good. I like it too. It, uh, cool. we'll see. It, well, that's why I like our discussions too, because it's not only, it's not finding a cheap method, right? It's not finding <laughs> like how to grind. Cause there's guys I know out there that have more coins than, and we do I, I, you know what i mean shout like, out shout but, out b3 squad man. right that yeah 100 he's got a ton that guy's that guy's different man <laughs> yeah. he's different um i'll say that but i know like i i feel like what our focus is a bit more it's more than like how much can i get if i spend 20 hours a day on the game it's hey if you have an hour a day or three hours yeah. a week what you best value your time at, right? And that's kind of what we kind of focus on a little bit more. We said, like, you know, our biggest movers, our safest bets, the easiest stuff for you just go in, hey, today I'm just going to go in, buy a bunch of these for 30 minutes, and then cash out three days later, right? Like, that's our, that's my favorite stuff to do. I think it's the, you know, for the more casual Madden player that isn't, you know, stuck in here going through, you know, like all checking all the sets, checking all the players who's doing this. Like, here's some like simple stuff you guys can kind of run down. And uh, and take out one day, someday though I'll get back on on the uh, the heavy grind. Maybe um, we shall see. I, I like it. I, I like this kind of grind though. I like being able to go on stream and not have that like be stressed out about like oh we need to make coins save. Like what are we looking for? I'm like I'm sitting there sniping on stream, having a conversation. That's right. what I like to do. So yeah, I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best part about the content that we put out there is that it's not um like I'll play other stuff, right? Like especially like. F FPS, something else, or you know, any other game. And like I as a content creator, this is way off track of Madden stuff. This is more content stuff. Um, like I hate when I get sucked into a game for 20 minutes, look over, I'm like, oh, I'm I don't even know you guys are here. I apologize. You know what I mean? Like chat becomes secondary yeah. and that that bugs me. That's why I kinda I think I think that's why all of us gravitate to this type of content where we are much more just having a conversation for two, three hours while we're hanging out, you know, doing whatever. Yeah. Um, but back to the content at hand. Um, new content um all madden promo incoming is this confirmed did yes. we get this this morning i missed it i, I was in a meeting no it is well it's confirmed for season two and i've looked okay. at the it's confirmed dates for november it's confirmed for november yes that okay. is true and i okay, looked at okay. the dates and it's pretty self-explanatory the two middle weeks are going to be thanksgiving harvest right last week going to be blitz and i can only assume the first week of november is going to be all madden it also lines up with an overall boost so they're going to be probably the first 93 overall cards Hey. So I'm actually really looking forward to that content drop because we should get again. I, I don't know why they'd advertise all Madden just to drop one or two legends. They should be dropping again eight to ten that we right, got on the same first we drop. had last so time. It should be really, it should be really good drop. I'm, I'm excited for it. That's, that was what my thought process was. Like we would get that next Thursday because that's like the yeah. only like next week is the only there's, week that yep. there's nothing. There's nothing going um, on. Right. And like what Harvest is what three week program? Two no, it's usually program? a two. two. It's usually yeah. a two. Yeah. Two, two and then yeah. Black Friday picks in for the last yep. week of it. Right. Totally so, yeah, where they never do. They never do Thanksgiving content. Actually, on the week of Thanksgiving, it's always the two weeks leading up. Right. And then Blitz is okay. like basically on Thanksgiving. The end yeah. Of it, so. yeah. Okay. So yeah. So that's like that would leave that. And then, how do we feel about like with that? I guess my thing was would be you can't really prep for that really. Um, well, yeah. like, well, I guess maybe the so the this is a, was there. I yeah. wanted to have a conversation on stream about this because I have some questions, and I feel like okay. Kay, okay. you're probably the best for this. Is All right, go for it. so. Typically this year, we've had a odds boost when we've got an overall boost. Whereas last year, it was like every month, month and a half, we get an odds boost. This year, it's been, what, every three to four weeks, like just a month. And it, it lines up right for all Madden to be hmm. that odds boost. But would it still be worth it to buy training probably this Saturday, once the most free content's over, buy training this Saturday and prep for the following week? Or do you think because of the odds boost, training wouldn't really move that much? Uh, that's like my question, honestly. I'm, I'm considering... I I'm think, questioning it. Um, real quick, let me let me throw in uh, Jack, buddy. Appreciate the raid throwing his uh, his people over here. Hope you had a good stream. Um, greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, we're going over the all Madden stuff right now. So here's my here's my theory on this. Not theory, but what I'm thinking. I I think we're stuck at like nine training. You curve. think we are? I think we're leveled out kind of because nothing's really okay. changing, right? We've been we've been at nine for a week and a half, two weeks now. 
yeah, um, pretty much. I feel like we've kind of bottomed out again. Uh, I feel kind of safe. You feel? Oh, uh, this I is what I wanted to hear. Right. This is like, what I wanted this to hear. Is like, because I've been watching it, right? I've been watching like, damn, yeah. we're kind of like, nothing's really budging. Nothing is causing. I mean, really, we have nothing else kind of. There's nothing going on training wise, save for one 9,000 coin, 9,000 training pack a week, right? Yeah. That's right. Um, and I and see then, uh, nothing, no movement at all in, in a while now. Like we've been at 10 for, oh, yeah, we've only been to 10 for like a week. Um, but that steady drop off, but it's kind of tapered, right? Like it's been, I'm looking at just 85s right now. They've been at 10 since last Tuesday. So we're at a solid week of zero movement. Um, before that they were at 20, but that was a different world 10, 10 days ago. Um, trying to see everything else. Even same thing for 90s have been at 10 since the 18th. Um, we're now at the 25th. So, you know, a week of straight you know, nine to 10 training. I think I might like take the risk and go nuts. Yeah. I think um, now like, that you're talking about it, like, as no long shit. as we have like, that floor. Right. Like, and I'm thinking like, I might drop like five mil on this. <laughs> um, Saturday, right? That's probably going to be. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, if we're yeah, only yeah, a week yeah. away, right? Well, here's the thing yeah. too. So Thursday, we get the last part of most, most feared, right? So that'll be it for training. Legends only or limited is only there for two days, right? Thursday and Friday. Saturday, no one needs training again. Literally nothing on the horizon to possibly need training for. Except three no, days like later, it. we could get the all Madden. It could happen on on November first, right? Like could yeah, be that Tuesday good, yeah. or that Wednesday or that Thursday, whatever, whatever. You know, a week away. Um, so I mean, honest to God, Saturday I might go like, let me buy fifty ninety twos and just see what happens. Um, yeah. Is it crazy? Well, what do you guys think? Only... Is this too wild? Or no, like, no. I if guess anything, the only it'll be a good YouTube there. video, even if I lose. I'll be like, oh, look at this big dumb idiot. I guess the only risk would be if they just don't drop a reroll. But if we're being honest, the way right. the content was the way the content was structured, the first drop. I mean, if you're requiring thirty plus eighty twos, it's going to be if they don't have a reroll, there's not enough supply in the market to make those sets. It'd be impossible. Even. So, right. I, I would think probably this one's going to be what probably maybe like ten to fifteen, like eighty. I'm thinking more like Campus Hero two along that range. So an eighty five, eighty six overall baby pieces. Yeah, there just is a reroll like that. Even like the bonos, and they just drop a reroll. Um, and I, if I remember right, the All Madden Part One reroll was not. It was terrible odds, but the value of the was reroll so good. you barely you barely lost anything. Yes, if you just rolled the if you rolled the eighty two, and you could pretty much just build like the sets and kind of break even for the first few hours yeah. of the roll. So hopefully it's similar to that. For being honest, rolls have been terrible value this year. The only reason they've been good is the sets in the game to make them like the most feared rerolls are are awful. Like seriously, they're, they're right. not good at all. Right. But you can get so much value out of 78s. So either you saved it for compass or you saved it for you use team builders and the 84s. My favorite thing with the 84 overalls was the 86, 87 exchange set spitting out oh, yeah. the kickoffs. But again, that that's only because of the sets in the game. It's not have to do with the rerolls. The right. overall odds in the rerolls this year have been awful, the worst they've ever been. So we'll see. All right. Yeah. So I guess we're buying. <laughs> I, guess I like, yeah, I like, I think no, I was, I was getting ready for it to buy on. Thinking back Saturday. to the all Madden stuff. And I think like, you're right. When those came out, it was the, you could buy 82s, right. Or anything you could snipe. I think it was 85s. We were sniping. Um, it was 84 for enough value where the roll was free. Like you buy like yeah, three 85s. The it was enough to roll. Selling. Yeah. The they were so that... overvalued. Because you needed 30 of them. So they were being bought so oh, much stop. that you would just lazy sell them. It was. Yeah. And I just did, a... I just did stupid uh, math real quick. So 86 is right now are like 24,000 coins, yeah. right? At this like 10 per. If it's 30 again to go into this set, that makes the card like 700,000 coins. I think it's kind of dead ass on what I expect a ni new 93 set piece to be. Um, yeah, they did. They that's do. About on I, I do target. have a feeling. They want to make the cards a little bit more expensive, kind of like the AKA cards, at right. least off rip. Yeah. So I'm thinking at 30, 86 is sound about right. Right. So that's not, yeah, if uh... you can, the thing is, if you can predict the overall, if you can predict the overall and they somehow make their way into the set, uh, you're going to be chilling, at least in the beginning while the kind of the market hasn't adjusted yet. Yeah. Yeah. 86 is our 2100 training. So, I mean, we'll probably see, I don't know. I'll five, probably four or five, go 4, five hundred training per round. I go into like 85s, 86s, 87s. Yeah. Probably try to do a little bit of everything just to. Well, just yeah, to as see. long as you're getting it for like training value or like, uh, yeah. well, under training value, like what, eight? eight yeah, if I can find stuff at eight on Saturday, I'm going bananas. Yeah, the other thing is, I don't know. I, they, they've been so inconsistent about removing rerolls from the game. Because they were in our Guardians still there, but I would say, hey, even 
87 overall most fears if they're the they are the cheapest training kind of right now if you could pick those guys up on saturday i mean no one's really going to be doing the most feared re-roll after friday for being right. honest yes. and those might go up just a little bit in general just because no one is kind of putting those cards back on the market it might be yeah. just a little extra thing i don't know yeah. well, we'll, well remind me what was the okay so the, the all madden release we had a set right one set per you need the 82s mm -hmm. right yeah. three of them and you got the 89 and there was there a re-roll for that it was yeah there's an 82 plus 82 plus and that wasn't too expensive either right okay no it no. was pretty cheap it was it was right. in the 600 I yeah it was, it was like exactly. 600 early so it was essentially if you rolled an 82 you were able to sell it for a, a, yeah. they were overvalued so you're able to sell it and make back all the coins you made buying the 85s then you just go buy those again okay cool so, so. And we're thinking 93s obviously with the with the chain. Yeah, we should get an overall boost next week. So right. that would be what 85, 86, or 87 is in there. Something around that. I mean, we don't really know. I mean, no. the thing is, as long as you buy my training value, then you're fine. It's just a toss up. If they happen to be required from the sets, amazing. amazing. Yeah. So they, they added that other set later on, right? Yeah. So they might not have that this year. I mean, this drop, yeah. but we'll see. We'll see. Yep. So not a lot of people or not a lot of people even know that all Madden is, is going to be happening. They won't know until they see the content schedule next Monday. But yeah. It, it says like it says like november and i can't yeah. see it being part of like because i get harvest. what else would they drop i guess in the first week of november maybe i know we, we've mentioned team builders team builders did drop on the first week of november last year that is that is one okay. thing so remember okay. call of duty came out and team builders came out and i was kind of mm. met into the content i played okay, okay. for a week but yeah. uh yeah because we, we we have to get team builders for part two I mean, think, yeah we have to right? something we, i think they're gonna give us my other my other question is remember those unsung heroes and those tokens when are we getting those other tokens i guess that's where i'm like kind of mm -hmm. going towards like yeah, oh like, so that's you're, like they have to happen they can't just there, like there needs to be something for those because we still there gotta be the 99 overall right there's gonna be yeah. you get that 99 overall token but you're still three away if you did all your unsung heroes right so that makes me think that this isn't coming out for a long time though yes i agree that's yeah. gotta be after february Right, so that's why. So, For the entire thing. do you think we okay. get new team builders without new team affinity too? That's the thing. I don't know. That's that's where I was like. That's why I wanted to ask. I was like, oh. is that soon? Because this is the time that we would get them. Yeah. I don't know. It feels different. Yeah. It feels like we're just getting two releases of team builders and at least two team affinity releases, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So I mean, I mean, unless the next one's different, and it's just one offense, one defense, and they save one more for one Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Like, if there's we need three more tokens, it could be one one AFC, one NFC next time, and then one after the Super Bowl. Um, Just because they, they seem like they're tied together, right? The team builders are yeah, tied to the unsung heroes. Right. That's that's my issue. Like, I don't. I think you'll have like I think they're going to come with another like unsung hero thing, but later on, I agree with like the team builders and that. But will there be right. a one off with team builders? I don't know. That's where mm. I was. Confused. I don't know. I, I mean, either either way, it just sounds like a great. Kind of, I kind of like buying the Saturday even more, like even now yeah. lower overalls. I know if I remember correctly last year for the part like Team Builders 2, the guys that went up the most, I think, was 82s to 83s, if I remember. But the only issue is those really aren't the cheapest training right now. It's like right. the only downside. So maybe not. I don't know. We'll, see. well, I was actually finding 83s for super cheap, like 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 seven <laughs> coins for this morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. 80, 83s are at like baseline. Oh, wait, no, 83s. Oh, yeah. I'm forgetting 82s 82 are terrible. Are, yeah, yeah, 82s, 82s are, are terrible. Tough. 83s are good. Yeah. Yeah. So weird 83s are the same value as 82s. I know, yeah. right? Ridiculous. Sets. Exactly Singular the sets, same. Man. Um, man, I don't know. So uh, either way, all right, so moral of the story, uh, I think, honestly, like 83s through probably 87s maybe, um, I'm literally just going to buy 200 of each and just call it a day. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I'm be ready with... for whatever. I think it's a smart idea. I was just going to go to 92s just to spend the coins as fast as I could and get everything at like 8 per, but... Um, that always makes me nervous that if something happens and they shit the bed, then I'm screwed. <laughs> um, at least yeah, the lower I, stuff, I, I, there's I, I, stuff I can do to get out, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the number's a little bit lower, too, on Saturday than it is right now. And as long as you buy, you know, a good, decent snipe, you should be fine. There's no real way you can lose unless training goes down to four or five per. And I just, right. eh. Which would be yeah. insane. Even still, though, even still. So say it goes down to five. So let's think about this, right? Let's say we all get burned. Right, like we all drop four million coins, four or five million coins this Saturday, and we all just get shit on, and training goes to four next week. Sure. It has to come back. At that point, yeah. I'm just sitting on it and going, waiting for 
PVPs to come back because there's no way, there's no shot at all ever that these stay that low. Um, <sighs> even now, I feel like 10 is like we've hit like a new baseline and it's like, okay, things are almost too cheap again, right? We kind of need a, a like mm -hmm. a, a, a spike here at some point. Um, yeah. Not that I want PVPs back yet. Sunday though, they can on Sunday fuck, load them up. Like once I buy everything up on Saturday, then <laughs> then do whatever you want, right? I'm all for it. Then. Yeah, I mean, let me, yo, oh my god, can you imagine? Um, yeah. Have one I stream would... we just sell and make thirty million coins would be great. That, dude, that would that would be crazy. That yeah. would be crazy. Speaking, speaking yeah. of, what's your what's your most ever in like one sit down? Ooh. Last year for me, it'd have to be one of my. And rest in peace, it was just the power of peace investing. I mean, later on in the year, uh, I think my my best just, I mean, this wasn't really a sit down like this. I bought these over a course of time, but it like wasn't that many cards. I had around, this was last year, 50 Calvin, aka our bonos Calvins, and they dropped the Easter Calvin. He went from, I bought them all for around probably 80 to 100K, shot okay. to 250, had 50. Nice. Uh, made, you know, <laughs> four, to, four to five. Right, right. I missed that, man. I missed that. It gave, it was just exciting to do, honestly, trying to predict yeah. the content dropping. And you really could because EA is not the most, they're not, they don't try to deceive you. Seriously, right, you, you right. just kind of walk through, like, oh, this player's overdue. Like, they'll say, oh, five, these five players are overdue. And you're going to invest in those five and buy them. Same yeah. kind of thing along, like, along the lines of training where you just buy when the market is cheap. So you can't really lose. Right. And then you kind of just wait. And uh, I miss it, man. I seriously uh, miss it. For me, it was zero chill. Um, that that reroll, I just, did not stop. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. It just, I, don't, I, I can't even tell you how much I made. I just know I went from, I think, 7 million to 25 million in the over the course of zero chill. So yeah, whatever right, that right. is. Yeah, yeah. That was um, so good. Nice. Like, it, was just, it was just like free coins at that point. Like, right, right. Not, it, was, it was wild. So. Nice. Um, like mine, wa mine was early. Like I think I was streaming to like 30 people at the time. Like it was like I was brand new. Um. And it was, it was way, it was years ago, maybe Madden 18. Um, that's when we still had the tokens, right? You need the tokens to yeah. upgrade. I think it was Sean Taylor every oh, like few months. Would, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The original power. Oh, no. oh, the original power system, but also. Sean. Yeah. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Um, so like every few months, like, you know, the new season would change over and then you need a bunch of elite tokens to upgrade um, the master. Um, and I had noticed that like. For some reason that year there just weren't many like 82 83s in the game and you needed them for elite tokens and i literally would i sat there for like two weeks and just bought these things up for like <laughs> like three thousand coins a piece be like what are you doing i'm like just wait homie just don't worry about it like just watch like i got an idea here yeah. and it was i had hundreds of these things um and then they popped and i was at work and i was getting dms on trump like bro they're at nine thousand dude, they're at 12,000. Oh my God, they're at 18,000. And I just got home and Jeez. for five hours, I just sold, made 5.4 million coins in like two hours just trying to sell these things off. It was incredible. That's um, amazing. And that's right. That is when I got hooked. Hey. I'm like, yo, this coin shit's kind of fun. Like I'm gonna keep doing this. Oh, people don't realize like you get, you get swindled into just, it's not even, it's it, seriously, it's not about the coins. Right. Like yeah. you kind of just enjoy, I don't know, it's weird. It gives you some, and also I think a lot of gameplay people misunderstand it gives you something to look forward to every single day. Like right. Looking at the prices of cards, seeing the the trends and taking it. I don't know. It's a game inside like Matt. It's its own separate thing. And I, I love it. You can tell because people like get introduced to it. And, like they'll, they'll start to pick up the things be like, oh, okay, this yeah. is, this yeah, is yeah. kind of fun. Yeah. Like, there's some people like I have some friends that hate it. Like they can't right. stand making right. coins. They yeah. all they want to do is play the game. Right. But then I have some other friends that are only do the market kind of like me, but not really, but only yeah. do the market. It's, it's fun, man. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's a nice break for like, I, man, like we've had times in the past, like luckily, I mean, knock on wood, I still really enjoy this gameplay, right? You can talk about ad catches, whatever you want, but zone blocking, I, I still enjoy the game, right? I still have fun with it. Um, but there's been times in the past, right? Like IE fall forward glitch, 91 zone, where you just hated locking in and playing, right? Yeah. So I'm like, if that ever happens, I'm like, well, I'm good. Like it doesn't, I don't care. Yeah. Um, you could still do whatever. So it's, uh, I don't know, it's just a nice... This little like side job, a side gig to kind of keep you distracted sometimes. Um, and man, that endorphin kick in when you figure some shit out and go nuts Dude, on it, right? Like it's, yeah. it's, it's the best. I'm not kidding. I, there was nothing more satisfying last year than seeing a car that you bought for 5k go up to 50k. Denzel right. Ward was my first one. Thanksgiving carpet. 
I round hey. 25 of his core elite 83s. The only reason I had bought him too is in EA. They tell you who like I I for almost I'm certain Joe Burrow is going to get a card in the next oh, few yeah. weeks because he did not Absolutely. get a TV card. And last year Denzel Ward against the Bengals himself, I think had a pick six. He had two picks, a pick six, and they didn't give him a TV card. It was in early November, and I'm like, okay, okay. Right. So you I picked up it, a yeah. few. I picked up quite a few Denzel Wars for 5K, and he was 50K on the Friday night after the content dropped. It's just, yeah. it's cool, and man. It's... Those were so great because, like, Sunday night, right? Like, you would see people going nuts on who they think is going to go up, and you'd see the price come out. And then the, on Monday, they'd announce the team of the week, and that guy wouldn't be there, and you see it tank <laughs> right out. I'm like, okay, idiots. Yep. And just buy them all Down up. The box. <laughs> um, it was great. Like, everyone was undercutting each other. Like I said, you'll get yep. that card for 5K when he was you know, nine the night before on all the like speculation. Right. And then he would just tank right out. Um, that was so great. You got so you many guys... involved in it. I like, I, I miss that. Oh I yeah. It was fun. <laughs> you guys think they ever bring back that like power ups needing baby pieces or are they kind of like finished yeah. with it? No. And I don't know. I don't know which one I want. Right. So the coin maker in me, right. The market guy wants it back. Yeah. I want to, um, but then, but the Madden player in me likes just grabbing my one guy with abilities yep. already on him and just going in and playing and not having it's to go pain. and drop 50,000 more coins right. to power him up, if not more, right? Like, okay, cool. I got the card. Ah, oh, shit, his power up's 300,000. And I need the train to power him up. And it was like, it was a hassle, right? It was a headache. Um, I do wish they, I, I, I always talk, about, I wish they would in, use the NFL season. Because like, I know in FIFA, they have the ones to watch cards, the road to the champion yeah. cards right, that are right. upgraded throughout the year based on if your team does good. I wish did I wish EA did something with Madden where, you know, if a player, they used to do it, I think it was Ultimate Kickoffs, they used to do it, where you get upgraded based on team wins. But I think there'd be something that you can, like, kind of invest in. And if the player does good throughout the year, they somewhat bring value to that card. I don't know. It would just be... Right, it would just right. be something if they were so That's how MLB is. Like, like, yeah, yeah it's MLB does make a ton yeah. of coins in MLB because you yeah. bought 400 silver cards at quick sell value and then he goes to diamond, you know, five months later. It's weird too because MLB promotes like the investing aspect of their game. They seriously, I see like tweets. Yeah. I, I didn't like they talk about like, oh, like they're even be on like their official, I'd say like TikToks. I and mean, like the five best investments going to the roster update. Like they right. play into that. Yeah. I love it. Then there's Madden and Madden just wants to delete anything that has to do with coin making investing everything so it's weird man it's weird. yeah it's tough i i like i like the like what i guess i'm gonna go off with case i like like the coin making in, in me is like i want those power-ups back i want to be able to like open get a player packs i want to get those power-ups and sell them for like a crazy amount or their cards but it is nice to like now when i'm doing like recording my new kind of videos just going to grab the player i need and not having yeah. to worry about powering them up right <laughs> but, right I, will I, say think legends it, are I also insane. think it gives the whole game like people to, like you have more things to do, right? Um, just going to buy the card kind of takes away from I don't know getting everything you need. I don't, I don't know. I like it. Yeah, it's a weird right. dilemma. It's a weird dilemma. Yeah. We'll see. I'm I'm honestly I'm cool with it. I've adapted because yeah. I could say honestly like before like everything I'm doing this year except for team of the week investing in AK. Like I used to go. That was how I made my coins last year and this year I'm having to. Uh, go more into training investing and more like short short term stuff so right right it's cool though it's whatever yeah yeah when i would say well i mean for those of us that do this like it's you just ad adjust what you're doing and mm -hmm. and press on forward um that's fun huh? we'll, we'll see i mean I, that's gonna be a good question going forward it'll be probably top three questions going into the next madden right yeah, like as we start getting like pieces of it it'll be like our power was back like how are things running um, so it'll be, but I, Savage made a good point too. I do not miss having 1,000 useless ass power ups in my binder. Yes, that is um, true. That is true. I would always kind of hoard them. I would hoard them, and when they when they do hit, you know, kind of just clear out. I would always, I always go on like sprees of clearing out. One night I'll go, okay, I'm getting rid of half of these. Right, right. Yeah, totally. yeah they would just piss me off so much. Eventually, I would just give up and just go quick sell them all. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm over this. It would drive me crazy. Just because but also they, there was if, if they didn't come out till the end of the year, they were worth nothing, even when they got a card. Right, so. right, yeah. I do though. I miss it was last year was Campus Heroes pulling those out of Campus Hero packs on the first day when uh you didn't get them back through the set and they went for like two hundred K. I remember Joey Galloway power up was two hundred two fifty. Oh yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Pulling them on team diamond release day two in the seventy five to seventy nine packs and you'd right. pull a new team diamond power up and go for fifty K. That was that was enjoyable. Yeah. I didn't really use I didn't really use power ups that much, like the power ups individually to make coins last year. It was more the pathway through them, but there was a, there were a few instances blitz blitz last year when they released the power ups before the actual cards came out, 
they released them all night one and you knew you knew which cards like were coming out they would they showed them right right whatever i remember buying uh there's jamar chase jamar chase power up i bought around 25 of them for 25k before his 91 whatever card came out shot up to set shot up to 75k when these actual card dropped that was right right that was pretty fun yeah yeah i i, I miss those um that rush to of like if there's a special stream at night or even like the good morning madden stream like They'd show the card art and everybody be on the market already. Like you just see them all gone, all bought up within, you know, two seconds. Um, fun. All, all the good old days. Um, all of like six months ago. Um, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. All right. We'll see where it goes. What else we got, man? What else we got uh, on the horizon? Most fear three, like you said, in a couple days. Um, it's going to be good. I'm thinking quarterback, right? You think quarterback, I'm, I assume? Most fear um, part three. Look, I'm going to gas it a little bit. I think it's okay. it's you guys know all right it's going to be really good I'm telling you right now i I think it's the best drop yet I'm excited should we, we pre I some? am excited I uh see I know Kay was talking about last week how part and I will say this the other thing about pre-building especially the 90s is a lot of people are gonna be coming up on the 90 overall fantasy packet in the level so you might yeah. see a spam of those don't know exactly when but I think if you're on in the morning for the new 90s um, they were going for once. I know you can build them like right now for 120, 125. Right. The new 90s were going for 160. So you can always just fill off the 90 individually, but individually, but yep. look, I'm really good. Con- I think it's a, I think it's the best content drop. I think it's the best, most, most fear content drop. Sorry, most fear content drop. I think it's uh, very, very right. good. I don't I'll, let me I'll get you guys yeah. hyped up for it. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. I'm in, uh, yeah, I'm in the same boat. Are we feeling, I mean, we talked about already not getting a card. Are we feeling Joey B this week? <laughs> Joey B, I don't know. I don't know. I only know a little bit about it, but it's yeah. it's gonna be really good. It's, it's, it's I didn't. Be good. I didn't intentionally pre-build a bunch of stuff, but I did buy a lot. My um, actually thing was, I'm buying tonight after stream. I'm buying team of the weeks, and I'm pre-building my most feared because I didn't really get the chance to on Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. I was so exhausted. I don't know if you guys were like this. I was so tired of grinding the market with Team Diamonds and like just selling, like being on the market for a week straight. Saturday and Sunday, I kind of just played weekend league and didn't really do much on the market at all. I was right. kind of just chilling. So I didn't get to buy my most feared on Saturday or Sunday. So I'm actually buying them today. I think today's a great day because they should get revealed tomorrow morning. And that kind of kills, I think, any pre building, at right. least for that day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah. Buy a sure. yeah. I think I've got um, like 1590s already set and a bunch of 87s ready to rock and roll. Uh, yeah, the up. 90s i just kind of i just kind of fell into them like they were just kind of like if i roll them i'd be like okay i'll just keep them and hold them um with the intent of so i'm i do not have a need to go for 23 wins in weekend league so i will use a bnd offensive line because i get sick spending coins on an offensive line so 90 good enough um need so, a right guard. yeah i'm hoping Please. for one more offensive lineman Please. there's already two right so i'm like okay cool so i know i'll build at least one master um, probably Tyreek because I am I am full on team short squad by the way. Screw those <laughs> big ass uh, receivers; they can't make cuts to save their lives, and I like to throw underneath. Um, but uh, so I'll build one at least, right, and then take all my ninety B and D linemen and and roll that way. Um, that's the plan, anyway. and then the rest I don't know. I'll figure out what the hell things look at, um, or if like if things tank out even more. Um, which fingers crossed, kind of, kind of, you know, kind of hoping. Yeah, we actually kind of wanted to really honestly tank. Yeah, at this so, point, I'm like, if I see seven, I'm going to tell you, as soon as I see seven, dude, I'm drooling and buying, buying everything on site. <laughs> Thursday might be a buying, excuse me, buying stream, just almost for all day. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm good with that. I'm yeah. good with just like investing like like pretty much half my coins into it. So I know we're I know we're in a dead week, but honestly, I like these dead weeks a little bit more for coin making because it's just consistent. It's yeah. really, really consistent. Whereas, you know, last week, I mean, the trophy packs. And also, oh, we haven't really talked about it. Oh, uh, the coin grant. Are we going to? Mm-hmm. I know they. So the way the time they worked with the trophy packs was they announced that trophy packs were working. And then about a week later, they grant all the previous people that needed uh, the make rights, basically. And then right. today, of course, they announced that the coins now should be working for head to head seasons and Super Bowls. And they're talking about and they're working on it, of course, uh, the grants for the coins. And we know if that ever happens. Uh, I think the high end market is going to go crazy. I even think you can yeah. see someone like John Elway jump up back like 500k to a mil because there's so many, just like the trophy packs. You saw the flood of trophy packs, right? Yes. It was, it was insane. It was crazy. It was crazy. It was like almost Christmas morning esque right. flood yes. of the market. And if you see 
millions and millions and millions of coins, especially to the high. And remember, it's the players that are winning the Super Bowl. It's the high-end players. Right. They're going to be buying the best of the best cards. So, yeah, they're not buying see. 87s. They're not buying 90s. Nope. They're buying 92s, and that's yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're going to see probably, you'd see like LTDs rise. LTDs always rise. I know they rose with the training make rights with DK. Right. LTDs went up a ton. Uh, but yeah, I think you see maybe AKAs. AKAs, I still feel like, are some of the best cards in the game. And they're honestly like not that expensive compared to Team Diamonds. They're yeah. not that expensive. Right. Um, yeah, that's a really good point. I mean, and we see that all the time in MLB. Anytime there is a backwards, anytime there's a stub sale, right? And stubs become cheaper in the game. All the prices go up by like 20%. Um, yeah. Everybody's got everything. So everybody starts buying everything. So, man, hopefully, man, please, please wait till Monday to give that grant. That could be all I that. need. Like, just I just wait, need, just wait. God dang it, man. I need two more days. Like, just hold off. Um, yeah. Now I'm, in like, yeah. like, now I'm gonna be all stressed out, Joe. Appreciate it. Thank you. Now I'm gonna be like <laughs> sitting here watching every day. That tweet's gonna come out liquid? and I'm just gonna cry. By the way, you guys made the fully liquid. I, I, yeah, pretty much. I just got my like, two weeks up. That's it. I just got my AKs, then oh. I'll do my team of the weeks tonight. But I still have six those usually are diner, man. I'm t- out of my account. You guys were you I know Adam, I was in your stream earlier uh, mm-hmm. on Monday, the comp pass. I know okay, you tweeted out about the 80 yeah. 80 it, it, I, I'm kind of shocked that they're continuously just copy and pasting. I think I this. Guess. I think now. I think now. Um, like not this week, but the following week. Like when the all Madden content drops, I think I'm gonna go all out on 80 ones. I'm gonna buy 300 of them. I'm serious because so they easy, just. Man. And I know they'll probably bend me over in the following right, podcast, right. but you know what? At this point, I'm just gonna do it seriously because it's just you're gifted. Yeah, I sold a hundred like of them last night. I made like 800 thousand coins. Yeah. Um, so, but what I did, I didn't, I didn't buy 81s, right? So all the re-rolls that I was doing, because I'm a degenerate, um, just kept all the golds, right? Would then roll them into 80, 81s, hoping for one of the guys to go for 25, 30 K, um, hit a couple of those, right? So those were cool. Just little bonus spots and everything else. I just chucked out yesterday and it was stupid easy. Um, it made, the, it made all the rolls last week, not only free, but yep. profitable. Yes. I had no I risk. Had like, That's why I have 1590s and 3087s right now. Because I was like, I could just do this for free, essentially. I'll get it back later. Exactly. If you really, really want to, you can roll this Thursday and hold your 78s for a week and a half if you're that, that patient. I honestly think I might do that. I'm I might still, do this. I, are, those didn't is, go up, we, though. They stayed the same. Did they stay right well, at, like, 25? No, they well, actually... Some of them were selling for four, but I was... They, yeah. They all along. Okay, so... Uh, well, they sell like individually for like, but if you go, like, I'm saying if you filter down, you can get them for like one, it was, they were oh, 1,000 yeah. Yeah, coins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I sold, so it was like, it was just, it was hard because they would go down like 200 or 300 coins every hour. So you would list. And if you didn't get the number right, it was just a waste of 50 minutes. Right, so right. I sold probably, I'd say 40 to 50 in total from around 3.5 to 4K in the early hours. But after they went down to like 3, 3.2, and I was kind of getting on the, fa- I was like only selling, like five out of the 20. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to put them into 8081s and sell yeah. those because the 8081s were the 8081s actually went up in price they did. later tonight. They went down to 8K and they went back up to 9K yeah, by the end of the night. And I was, yeah. yeah, and I was selling them for 9K. Yeah. I was cool with that. I noticed that it was fantastic. Um, got it. I love some of the stupid things in this game. It's so sometimes it's just like it's just so easy. Is like it's so, you can like bank on that every two weeks, right? Like, yeah, to refresh some coins, you got two weeks to get prepped, right? Yeah. Like, um, <laughs> yeah it, especially with something like a re-roll like this they just spit him out the gold's like candy and i was like all right well i'll just take my stab at the re-rolls then or the exchanges and see what we get um i do think God, i don't know maybe i'm just stupid um but i'm like waiting for that set to go up one right i'm waiting for it to be an 82 83 80 45 set i, I thought, thought it was going to be this, this week yeah but even at that right like you just put the golds into the 80s so it doesn't really right. really matter because yeah. the 80 set would stay there the gold set would go away the 80 set would still be the now the lowest or whatever. Oh, I think we lost. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yep. They're not going to make it like, they're not going to go the one above that, too. Yeah. At that point. I, I well, yeah. I no. Yeah. It won't be all three. I mean, that'd be nice. I would take an extra set oh, in yeah. the game. That extra 10 CP <laughs> would be fantastic. That's actually a great idea. We should pitch that. Um, <laughs> but uh, um, yeah, I mean, if it does go up, all it does is shift things over one. Like I said, I don't like, I don't really invest in the golds anyway, because like you said, they just take too long to sell because there's so many. Yeah, of they them. just take too long to sell. Yeah. The the 81s last night, um, when they were selling for like, like 82, I would just post them for literally 81, <laughs> and they were going in like 12 minutes. And they're just, Dude, okay. they were selling they were just so going fast. crazy. I got through 100 in two hours last night, which doesn't sound like a ton, but that's five full refreshes on that 
o'clock. Yeah. Right. If that takes 50 minutes, that's five hours to sell those. Um, yeah. and I got them all out in like two hours. So I was like, okay, like hundred cards is tough. To, like and we used to worry, tell people before, like when there was like the legend cycle and you could buy legends during the week and then sell them for stupid amounts on Saturday because people had amnesia and forgot they wanted them again. Um, or maybe they, that's just my favorite. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> that's just dear to my heart forever, Adam. Um, I love so much. Yeah. But, uh, uh, like those, I would get guys that would like DM me mad. Like, bro, I bought 300 of these cards and I didn't sell them. All. I'm like, yeah, idiot. It's literally a two hour window. You have to sell these. You can't buy 300. You'll never get out of it. Like you're kind of capped. Um, like that's my, one thing though about the 80s you have actually all day honestly all, it's not, yeah like, even it's, today yeah. like if you bought them at four last week they're still at 65 6700 today yeah. like you didn't completely whiff on it you had all day to do it um yeah. so those are i think they're just a stupid set line to just make a ton on forever yeah. i like it i like it what else you got anything else jack any questions what do we got yeah, I feel like we covered everything like that. Yeah. Like, like we it is have. A little bit of a, There's not really much. Yeah. It's like it's like you said. It's a slow week, and we're just yeah. looking looking forward now. And like I think what you said about investing on Saturday, I might honestly like you. You both sold me. I'm gonna go all in, and then I'm gonna blame both of you if we. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I wanted to get Kay's opinion first. Once he said uh, he thinks trading Sata at a good I number, I can't really go down. I'm like, yeah. yeah, that's all I needed to hear. I'm now, I'm now gonna. Right. Oh. I just, for a week straight, being no movement, regardless of what happened in the game, I'm like, I think we hit a floor, right? Like, yeah. um, but who knows? Maybe next Tuesday's stream will just be us sitting here saying how much we lost in the past week and uh, how much we made. Um, <laughs> we will be frauds. Yeah. But I, like, I'm only at like, I think I'm at like 16 mil right now. I, I might go flat out to like get to 10 even on Saturday. Yeah, we'll see. If I can, yeah. that's a lot to try to buy though, right? Like, even if you're not being super picky about the price, like, it's, it does take a while. Especially if I'm going to buy some 83s for 6,000 coins. I mean, it's going to take a friggin' day. Yeah. Going from like 83s all the way to like 87s alone, they're going to be like a Right. I, I think I'm, I'll buy, put a number on it. I might just do like 100 of each, um, which even still, I mean, you have Sunday too, right? Because it doesn't really come back up. It does yeah, a little Sunday. bit, but you're not really missing out a whole ton. Um, but you have like Saturday and, you know, at noon until, well, Sunday I'll be at the stadium all day. So. I won't be able to do squat at the stadium. I'm going to try to get an IRL stream in. That'd be nice. From the stadium. Bills, Packers, right? Oh, yes. And I'm hoping, knock on wood, yeah, Sunday Night Football. Um, I don't even want to say it, but, like, the way the Packers look right now, that if the starters for the Bills aren't pulled by the third quarter because they have a 40-point lead, <laughs> like I'm hoping to be home by the end of the game, right? And I say that, and now the Bills are going to be down by 40, and the stars are going to get pulled any so nobody gets hurt, and I'm just going to go home and cry myself to sleep. <laughs> um it's probably more likely to be honest that's what's gonna happen because i said it out loud that's what's gonna happen um oh hawks had a good question we talked about this beforehand the matthew berry team of the week cards joe go ahead and uh, throw this out yeah. there good call good yes yeah, so uh <laughs> we, we actually were talking about that right before stream we actually almost forgot so the matthew berry team of the week cards and i did not know this until today if you collect every single one of the matthew berry uh season yeah. two team of the week cards at the end of season two there's going to be a set for it has to pretty much be a good player right because it's going to be what it's going to be 389s and probably 389s, 390s, and maybe like a few 91s or whatever. So it's going to be a really high rated card. It should be at least, unless they maybe give us back all the BNDs and they make it uh, kind of iffy. Right. My plan, because the only issue with Team of the Weeks is yes, Team of the Weeks go up from the first day, like for the th throughout the first week. But after that, they do go down. Like if you go check the 88 overalls from three weeks ago, they're cut in half in price. So. Yeah. The key with these is trying to wait until the last second possible to get like and buy all of them. And luckily for us, and I kind of did out the math. Blitz, Blitz is going to be, I think, that day when there is maybe a team of the week pack in the store. Whenever that, you know, there's probably multiple offers of that, and I think that will be the time frame to pick up all your 80 or 89, 90 overall Matthew Berry team of the weeks. I originally I'm like, oh, Christmas, like there'll be a team of the week gift. However, it's season two. I guess it matters it. when they actually release the set. If they release the set right at the end, we should be good. Because I think season two, let me get the date up actually. How many days do we have left? Mm, I got it right here. It is 43. 43. So wait, that's such a weird time. Uh, it's so close, man. Like it's it's like a it matter, it just matters when they drop the set, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. If they yeah. drop the set after Christmas, and of course it'll be, you know, by during Christmas morning, but they'll have around a 10 day period to drop the set. And if they do the time, the best time will be during blitz. Cause if I remember right from last year, 
blitz was even like blitz, the blitz market was cheaper than throughout the entire zero chill market because zero chill training kind of goes up because there's so much stuff to do with like presence reroll snow so training actually goes up during that so right my um, day and we're still a month out so stuff can change but as of right now i'm planning to pick up and i am actually going to buy i think quite a lot of those community cards because people yeah. are going to completely forget about that and if the card is really really good it might be like a matthew barry mid-season mvp card or something that's 94 95 like, it could be a really yeah. really good card by right. the time we get and to that day panic buy right they're yes, gonna, they're they're gonna, gonna panic buy and yeah. the, the weeks are FOMO. perfect all the FOMO. the only way to get them really is like a set and the set is not good for those high-end pieces it's not a good value like at all right so We'll see. A lot can change, but my mindset right now is I'm going to be waiting until Blitz, and then we'll we'll go from there. We'll go from so there. Buying so. my team of the week like to invest, but I'm getting ready oh, yeah. in a couple of days, right? So. Yeah. By the way, if you aren't team of the week investing, it's very simple. Just buy Tuesday or like literally after this stream. I'm going to start uh, buying you by the high end set pieces. I think right now my target price would be around like 70 to 75k, and you only got to wait a few days. And every single team of the week high set piece has gone up this year. And that's uh, on PlayStation, season. right? Just your thumbs, PlayStation down. and Xbox. Oh, I both? Think that, okay. Yeah, right. both. So last, and just to give you guys an example, last week, Kayvon Thibodeau and the Dante uh, Jackson for the Colts, they were, they load out at 75K, but that was because of the team diamonds. But on Tuesday night, they were 85K. And if you actually go check them out right now, they're like 110, 115. So it's just a patient game. Just buy them Tuesday night and just kind of wait them out. And whenever they go up, you sell. It's kind of determined by you if you want to sell for 100, 115, 95. It's just whatever. Whatever you're comfortable yeah. with. Whatever. I'm not yeah. worried. Profits, 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 profit. profits. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, and I will say, people always ask me like when to sell cards, and I always tell them it's kind of like up to you. Like you need coins for certain things. I don't really know. Right. It's uh, all dependent on your budget. So. Yeah, I usually go. It, I need it. it yeah, for those are probably for the team of the weeks. I probably a hundred. Right. I mean, once they once I see them hit a hundred, that's when I'll probably be like, okay, I might be. I'd be trying to pull the trade. I mean, you're looking at what 15,000 coins per card, right? That's not a bad, yeah, not a bad grab. I can take that all day. Really, really good. Um, Actually, we had one more question. Will 92 most feared players go up? I mean, like, I don't see why they would. Yes, yeah, we're, we're, we're still in the third week cycle. I mean, even if you're like worried about prepping, the same overalls would go into them, which require more. So it doesn't really yeah. matter, but they shouldn't go up. It should be yeah. 92s. This is the last week of 92s, and then next week will be. Uh, right. 93 starting with all mad and it won't start with aks and team of the weeks we'll still have one more week and then it'll go up probably yeah. I'm, I'm just going off that, that was my guessing i guess on that um no, i think they could so i don't think the 92s in and of themselves go up the most feared ones um but like we talked about earlier i'm hopefully anticipating honestly a doubling of the market soon like i'm hoping to see training at 20 um yeah within the next probably two weeks uh, when those new, yeah, if they give the good, like those new, if the all Madden players come out and that re rolls like 6,000, 7,000, um, that's gonna that's a chunk, right? That's a chunk. We already see yeah. the aka guys at that's an 88 overall, right? For 9,000, we're thinking this is gonna be 86 or 87, so six to seven thousand is not crazy. Yeah. Um, and if you hit a bunch 86, 87 that re roll, that is gonna eat your friggin' wallet in a heartbeat. Um, mm -hmm. you're losing 4,000 training a shot. I know some people are out there and this is all they do is roll. So they just literally have like 2 million training stocked yeah. up. But for the mat average Madden player, who's going to go in with 50 K, um, you could be out real, real fast. That's exactly it. We'll see. Uh, man, I hope that happens. Scott, I'm, I'm like, I'm super excited for the all Madden stuff now. And I'm just going to go buy everything and just sit and wait. And be <laughs> I a, think like, have a it's gotta be next week. <laughs> it's gotta be. Right, there's nothing else planned. I mean, you looked at it, you know, you pulled up the calendar. And the 43 days left for Season 2 is kind of interesting. I think it, that should lead us to the start of Zero Chill. Yeah, sure. Zero yeah. Chill. Right, we'll get Season 3 and Zero Chill at the same time, just like they did. Um, well, last, I guess not. Was it, it season, a little weird? No. It was Season 2 last year. But seasons were terrible. They were 90 days yeah. last year. That was yeah, terrible. they were yeah, weird dude. last year. Seasons 2. Yeah, Seasons 2 dropped on the Thursday, and then Zero Chill started on the Friday, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah. So that will be uh, busy, busy, busy. Yeah. yeah. I know, and I'm going to be out of town for my stupid brother's freaking wedding. Um, <laughs> when is <laughs> it? It's, it's the, I think it's the 19th. Is that the week before Thanksgiving's 24th, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm in Canada. Uh, you already have Thanksgiving. Oh, that's right. Weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's the weekend. It, whatever. The, I have to fly back home the Sunday, bef the Sunday of Thanksgiving. Um, 
my plane lands at 11 30 i have to go right to the stadium for a bills browns game um so i'm going to be hung over and miserable at that game so we better beat the snot out of the browns that week um but uh yeah i i, I did set up <laughs> i grabbed a full mobile setup with a bunch of elgato equipment um i have a new wave three mic on the way a new face cam a new capture card and a new laptop so that while i'm at my parents house in charlotte i can still no. I go live that. and i mean if no, this is like like the busiest times of the year. I can't, I can't oh, uh, yeah, pull that down. Also, shout out Elgato. I just sent you an application form for a partner. If you could go ahead and accept that, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Um, shameless plug, yeah. <laughs> it's the only one I want. I spent $1,000 on all your equipment again, which I already, already own, but I needed a mobile set. So here we go. Um, yeah, let's see. I think that's about hey, it. There was that image, right? We had that image a few weeks ago with the All Maddens coming out November. That's all they said, just November. They didn't say... Yeah. Like the exact date, but I can't see it. It just Obviously. fits. The puzzle piece yeah. fits for the first week of November. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they'd have to do I don't think they would do absolutely nothing. Like, you think they'd release a content schedule, a.k.a.'s Team of the Weeks and Legends? Uh, I, I, like I don't know. It's too early for that. <laughs> yeah. It's that's like, like, that's, that's like the end of the year schedule. Yeah, it's like April, May. Right, right. Um, yeah, I don't know. And with the way things have gone out lately, I don't know if they want to um, yeah. even put that kind of pressure on. You know what I mean? Um, like I would just rather see them just drop a schedule like sometime this year. This is what we're gonna do. Like that's that's about as much info as we can give you. Um, Monkey was asking like around seventy five k. Yes, yes, around around that seventy to seventy five is what we're looking at. I'm going under eighty on PlayStation because I think it's a little bit cheaper on Xbox than it is. You can always just buy like basically what they're going for. It's just the fact that you kind of want to get a little bit, and they get listed quite frequently. So yeah, I'm about to start buying them. I was looking uh, right before stream, and I know I'm with you, Adam. Probably like anything at 80 or under, I'm just gonna pull the trigger on, just so I can get, like it's gonna be volume thing for me, right? I don't want to go, oh, it's a thousand over what I want to buy it for. No, I'm just gonna pull the trigger and load up on them. That's right. That's exactly my thought process. Because like, yeah. even if I get a hundred, that's still like a ten, almost like a 10k, a little bit more than 10k profit. That's right. More right, enough right. for me. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. There's 75 some up there on Xbox right now. Right. Same, so. if yeah, if you're seeing those on Xbox, then yeah. But on PlayStation, like 80 is pretty much the cut off right now. Yeah, and they're an easy filter, right? Like you literally just go offense defense. Like they're not. That's it. Yep. It's, there's not it's, cards it's, up. it's yeah. brain dead. Um, super super simple stuff. Easy. Right. Yeah. All right. Cool. I think that's yeah. I think that's pretty much it for like this week for us. I feel like I feel we'll have a lot more to talk about next week because we're either gonna be making millions or about to lose millions. So. <laughs> I think this yeah, time next week we're gonna be in a in a panic, just staring at each other like, "Man, this better work." Um, what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, it's your uh, fault. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch all next week's YouTube videos. No, Everybody's gonna call us frauds because we're gonna look. We won't. On, we on won't panic. know too. Like we really won't know if we see the all. Even if we see the all madams on Monday, we'll still just be kind of waiting to see if there's a reroll. Yeah, right. right. So we'll see. Right, should right. Be, I think it's gonna be very. I think they, they pretty much keep those the same, right? Like all yeah. madam. I think it's gonna be the same as the first release. They may they may just throw that new set or like you know how we got that set a little bit later. I think they might just throw that in right away because people complained yeah. about it. So yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, just throw that one in as well, well as well. So that should help. Yeah, and that's the key part that like we said buying a bunch of 85s, 86, 87s, because one of those three is gonna be that set. Exactly. Yeah. That'll be clutch. Mm-hmm. All right, gents. Oh, um, I guess we need to do a double oh, LT. You like that? Uh, I'm a fan only because I feel like if you are going to open up bundles, it gives you, there's more of a value there, right? Like, cause I'm not, no money spent. I do, you know what I mean? Like I'll buy bundles, but I only buy them. I'm a value bundle player, right? If there's a good value there, like when it especially comes like for blitz or anything, like I won't buy all of them cause some of them are stupid and terrible. Um, oh. but I they see some like, dang, that's actually a really good, you know, if it's like those half off, like full legend bundles, I'm like, okay. I'll, I'll buy that one for 50 bucks instead of 100 bucks. There's value on that one. I'll pull the trigger on that. Um, Higher fantasy packs are also. I always yeah, oh, yeah. Those are I always. Love, I love you have watching to. people open those. Yeah. Um, God, hopefully, man, this year with being heavy on training, maybe they bring back training packs. During oh, my God. I was, what, what, when was that, man? 20? Yeah. Oh, my God. That was the training five. platinum bundles? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That, that was, was, those were, you want to talk died. about easy coin making? I think I went into like, <laughs> 88 89s and literally just filtered like offense defense bought it and literally sold it for 40k higher i didn't filter i didn't have time to filter lower than that I was like buy sell buy sell because people were just lost their minds crazy, crazy. yeah and like and the servers would go down because like it was every like hour yeah 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 <laughs> i remember that oh, good times yeah 
God, I can't wait. See, this is why I have to. I'm, I'm out of town for the week before Thanksgiving and the two weeks leading up to Christmas. Yeah. That's why I had to buy this mobile streaming setup because there was no way, like, this is the, the money maker. And I have my charity thing I do during Christmas. I'm like, I can't be gone for the whole damn thing. Um, it's, it's really the best content, bro. Like, Thanksgiving I know. Break, it was just the, it's my favorite part. I know. Well, at least the Christmas one, I'll be down by the beach. So I should have the beach behind me. Um, well, it's with my little snow animations on the camera. I'm like, oh, it's so calm. I'm kidding. It's 80. We're good here. Um, so finally, I got some nice, uh, some nice luck on there. But, all right. Well, I think uh, I still have to hit like 27 more hours this month in the next six days. So my ass is going to stay on for a little bit. Gents, you're welcome to hang out. I think it's time to go uh, snipe out and do some stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's snipe a little bit. But. Uh, uh, as always, always a uh, a massive pleasure. I think we dropped a a handful of little knowledge bombs and a couple of grenades on some people today. I fucking love it. Um, if you guys jumped in late or you missed it, you can go ahead and find the entirety of the conversation on YouTube tomorrow. If you're on YouTube and you made it this far, God bless, man. It's been an hour. I can't believe you're still here. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's it, guys. Appreciate it. Go ahead and send uh, say good, say good night to the peeps. Have a good one, everybody. I'll deuces, catch you all deuces. tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> right on. All right, guys. I'll catch up with you guys later. All right. See you. See ya. All right. We'll end that out. Let's get some tunes on. Now that